Here's ready for another funny man. Yeah. He's one of my favorite Albuquerque comedians. Definitely the one with the most volume in his hair. Yeah. And a man with a penchant for the reality TV. Everybody give it up for Julian Martin. Oh, hey guys. How you guys doing? You doing all right? Yeah. Everybody at Woo. least like a, like buzzed at least? Got something going on? No, we're like, oh, we're all sober still. Fuck you. Fair enough. That's fine too. Not really. I don't trust people that don't drink. But anyway, I had a weird day the other day. Um, my mom, she, uh, she sent me to the store to get her tampons. And the first thing I thought was like, you still have periods? How old are you? <laughs> like, what? But, uh, you know, being the good, caring, and loving son that I am, you know, I went to go get him. Well, first thing, I get in the car, and, like, somebody stole my iPod, so I've been listening to the radio, and, like, at 104.1, the edge on, which is horrible. Like, I have to be a masochist. It's like everything that comes on that station is, like, really shitty 90s alternative and then some hipster stuff, but it's not hipster anymore because it's on the radio. Anyway, um, Pearl Jam comes on. And I fucking hate that band. I fucking hate Pearl Jam. Yeah, but Pearl Jam. luckily it was Even Flow, which is awesome because that's the only song in existence you can sing along to without knowing the words. <laughs> I, I, I was just like... And I was like, yeah, Pearl Jam fuck's wrong with me? Anyway, I get to the Walgreens and um, I go get the tampons, take them up to the counter, I put them on the counter, the guy looks at me weird, he's like, I'm like, yeah, dude, they're for my vagina, totally. They're for me. No, you know what I decided to do? I put them on the counter, he gives me a, like, a really weird look and I'm like, get fucked up tonight. <laughs> he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, soak these fuckers in vodka, put them in your asshole, it's the drunkest you'll ever be. <laughs> Happens immediately. <laughs> He's like, you serious, man? You do that? I'm like, fuck yeah, I do that. It's really dangerous. I'm hoping he went home, tried it, and died. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's not on me. Curiosity did, in fact, kill the cat. Um, and so I thought I was going to get fired from my job recently. I work at a Walgreens, not the one I buy vodka-soaked tampons at, but a different <laughs> one. Um... I was in the stock room, I was on a ladder, my manager, he said something smart to me, so I pulled my dick out and I shook it in his face, and then someone heard about it, called corporate, and was like, Julian's exposing himself to other employees. So Walgreens sends a guy from corporate to talk to me about it, they're like, this is guy's name, his name's Bachman, and he, uh, his job is like, to, he's like a Walgreens sleuth. He's like a detective, and he goes to Walgreens when there's complaints, and he interviews people about them. Like, that's his career. That, that's his job. And so is to, like, tim intimidate people making, like, a dollar above minimum wage. And he's like, Julian, did you expose yourself? And I was like, no, absolutely not, sir. I would never do that. I'm a professional. Uh, I did, but whatever. I'm going to lie to him, of course. Uh, I thought, if I get fired for this, I'm going to send this guy a dick pic. Like, <laughs> fucking, what else? Uh, I didn't get fired. Actually, uh, my boss came in uh, two days ago, and she's like, Julian, uh, you know, all that stuff blew over. We have to write you up, but, um, oh, you got a 40-cent raise, though. What I heard in my mind was, you showed your dick, and now we're going to pay you more money. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, what do you guys do at work? I got a raise for pulling my dick out. Like, that's the kind of life I live. Uh Oh my god, Walgreens, Jesus. I saw American Sniper recently. What a piece of shit. I'll say it. It made no sense. They were trying to say too much. It got convoluted. At one point, the guy, like, he's like, oh no, 9 11. And then the next scene, he's in Iraq. And it's like, Afghanistan did the 9 11 thing, man, not Iraq. What the fuck is going on here? I, the best way I can equate the film... The film to me was like watching Ronald Reagan jizz red, white, and blue into the mouths of obese Rush Limbaugh listeners. 
Like, that's what I saw while American Sniper was playing. And that might have upset some patriots. If any of you guys were in the military, it'll probably upset you too. I'm, so, I'm like my dad's military. I'm done kissing military ass. I'm done doing it. One guy came up to me, he's like, you know, Julian, I don't really appreciate your jokes. Freedom isn't free. And I said, yeah, I know, I pay my fucking taxes. It sucks. They take a big chunk out of my check for my freedom. And it, I hate it. Oh. Oh my god. You ever want to confuse a white girl? Like a young, pretty white girl? Call her the N-word. They don't know what to do. They're just like... They get confused, and then they get upset. They're like, I'm not, yet, I'm not black. It's like, you're a racist for being offended take it as a compliment. I'm allowed to say it. Obviously, I'm a little bit ethnic. Uh, to shed some light on my ethnicity, um, my father is black, so obviously I do not know him. Um, my mother is Irish, so obviously she was too drunk to remember who he was. Just a black guy. Just kidding, I know him, he just doesn't love me. Oh, isn't that rough? Oh, poor Julian. I don't know. Being half black, half white is really weird. I'm really good with white women, and I think I know why. It's I'm not black enough to be scary. I'm not like I'm going to mug you black, but I am black enough to piss your dad off. Oh, he'll be real upset. I come over for dinner. Well, what, what, what ethnicity is he, Stephanie? Uh, he's, he's half black. He's a black guy. Brown, never again. Keep him out of my home. We are God-fearing Christians. We will not mix race. Where does it say that in the Bible? I don't know. I'm tea party. Who cares? Uh, Jesus, getting a little political. I don't mean to do that. I think everybody's stupid. I'm stupid. You're dumb. It's fine. We're all dumb. Out of all the knowledge out there, we're never going to know more than 1% of it. I think the difference is... The smart people understand that they don't know everything, whereas stupid people think they know fucking everything. Stupid people are the people who look, no, no, because it says here in the Bible. Who wrote that? I don't know, but fuck you, it's right. All right. <laughs> Shit. The concept of hell is really odd. That's like when you were a kid and you played that game where the whole floor was lava. You remember that game? Where you hopped on the couch and then onto the pillows because the floor was lava. I feel like hell got invented the same way. Some guy was like, if you don't listen to me, when you die, there's, um, um, there's going to be fire everywhere. Uh, forever. Oh, very imaginative. Oh, very descriptive. Oh, is this a Tolkien book? No. It's, it's the Bible. It's much worse. Oh. Oh, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, I guess I can pull my phone out and look at more jokes. That's unprofessional. Isn't this my job? Not tonight. I'm not getting paid. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's it for me, actually. You guys have a wonderful evening, and uh, be well.